you just give it up so quick. Right. You don't right. give up so quick. Amen. Some people say, you ain't good. You know, I wish I had you. I wish I had never. No, you ain't got to say that. Mm -hmm. You may feel that, but you ain't got to say that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. They say, Lord, help me to work this yeah, thing out. You got to work it out. Jesus. See, marriage is kind of like being born. You don't know nothing about him. She don't know nothing about you. That's why it ain't good. That's why you don't always be having sex and everything before you marry. Yeah. I heard one man say, all you got to do. I heard one man say, just tell the preacher that y'all won't get married and start having sex. Well, I disagree with that one. Mm -hmm. I say, oh, I disagree with that. Goodness, can you imagine? Mm -hmm. People on different preachers in different cities said, I want to marry her. Mm -hmm. Bam, 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 bam. Mm -hmm. I want to marry her. You know, you all around the state. Mm -hmm. No, I think it, it, it's something that got to take place. Right. Is that right? Amen. A ceremony. So you got to do do it right like God said. Amen. Then when you do it like God said, do the thing right and awful, then it's right in the sight of God. Amen. Is, is that right? So you, 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 you have things that you got to do. Is that right? Husband, when you get married, you, you, it takes time you know, to understand the wife. Because you got to understand, she got a suitcase and you got one too. Yeah. And y'all bring y'all suitcase together, make it one suitcase. That's right. You don't know what's all in her suitcase. You don't know what's all, but y'all, y'all say y'all will come together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Then you say so. Amen. You did say you love her, didn't you? Then you stand before the God. People say you love her. You take her under regards of what the circumstances are. <laughs> to love, to cherish, to honor, to save all of them. Hmm. Sickness and in health. Hmm. You're going a long ways, man. All, then you said it all the days of your life. Mm. Then you say so. Amen. Amen. Well, God love us. Then Jesus said, I'll be with you always. Huh? Yes. To the end of the world. Then you say so. Yes. Amen. So just like the Lord loves us always, husband, love your wife. Learn. Let, try to learn one another. Understand, she is the weaker vessel. I don't care how strong she may be. And otherwise, she may, she may have no knowledge about things. She's still the weaker one. <laughs> She's still the weaker one. Because she, you know, no matter my, if my wife was a, was an engineer doctor, and I was just a godly man. I, is that right? She's still the weaker vessel. And then the woman got to realize, understand, that's what she is. You know, humble down and submit. Because see, God gave let me tell you something, man. God gave you that woman so you, because you needed help. Sometimes you feel as though you don't need it, don't you? You don't feel that way, bro. I can do it myself. Then you end up coming to say, hey, look at me. You know what I'm saying? That, you you know how we can get, man. Get a little stubborn sometimes, can't you? You ain't got to say it, man. <laughs> Thanks for the amen, mm -hmm. too. <laughs> but we can, can't. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. Yes, Try to learn how to understand. But the, you know, God gave you your help. He gave you your help. He gave you, he gave you what, what you need. Well, you know, in my life, I needed women. I didn't say that when I first married. I just, mm -hmm. you want to get married, you're young, 21 mm -hmm. years old, she's 19, you get married. But as I don't live and we done went through a lot of stuff and all that kind of stuff. I realized I needed her. She was the perfect one for me. Nothing else would have been would have worked. She just what God needed. No, I need. Just, just what God know I need. Through the up, through the down, through the this and that. And I'm just what she needed. Because of the type of woman she is, God gave me to her. Is that right? She ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to worry about me tipping out. Mm -mm. You ain't got to worry about me lying, stealing, doing something. No. You know why? Because I fear God. And when a man fears God, he's not going to do any and everything. You got to have a fear of God. And I fear God before I marry her. And I fear God after I marry her. So that's what makes the difference in that type of marriage. You've got to fear God. You've got to respect God. 
You got to pray. You got to fast. Even when she ain't praying, when she ain't fasting, you got to do it. So you better understand. Because God knows you, you need, she needs you and you need her. Did you realize that? It's like the church. We need each other. Amen. Like, I ain't going to do nothing. Well, do something. Can you imagine, woman, you have a husband you don't want to work? I want to say, man, you strong, baby. I'm not as strong as you. This woman got to carry a baby, got to do all that, tend to the house and all this. Then you tell me you don't feel like going to work. Man, get, get out of this house. <laughs> get out of here. What's wrong with you? I ain't got nothing. Go pick up some paper. Do yeah. something. Go pick up some candy. Do yeah. something. Do something. Amen. 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 I want a certain job in my field. You might not get enough of the job. That's right. You may have to work in the field. Hallelujah. Literally. Yes. You got to go throw some water in Go throw some water Yes, yes, yes. See, people, see your family. That's right. That's right. Take care of one you say. That's what I say. You go to the extreme and you talk about your law or somebody. So I'm going to tell you, ladies, you always want to get a man that don't mind the work. Amen. Amen. Even if you can't work, he don't mind getting out there work. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He don't mind getting out there work and he ain't grumbling. He just, I'm going to take care of my family. That's the truth. Is that right? Don't talk about how hot it is or how cold it is. Just get out there and work. That's right. Is that all right? Thank you, Have you had to do that thought? No. Yeah, I've had to do it. After my second child, my wife didn't work for over six years. I had the first with Kim. Then it wasn't long after here come Brita. Then she ain't worked no more for a long time. I'm out there throwing garbage, doing cutting pork wood, doing what I had to do. Killing squirrels, going hunting when it's cold. She making prolo and biscuits and rice. And we had a good time. And still is. But I'm just showing you. That's what love does. Mm -hmm. See, love do something. Love is an action word. That's right. So we have to perform. We have to put in action. When it comes to love, when it comes to loving the Lord, we have to prove that we love the Lord. Right. Not by assembling, by being together, by praying together, yeah. by helping each other, by yeah. encouraging yeah. each other. That's all about, that's what it's all about. Yeah. We, we, we miss the essence of striving to live holy. Yeah. Like God.